What do you do if you are a uh, completely craven Republican media person and the CIA has said that MBS was involved. The Turks have said that MBS was involved. Every expert on Saudi Arabia says it's almost inconceivable that a 15 member hit squad would travel to uh, an embassy, chop up a journalist who's an American resident, and MBS wouldn't know about it. What do you do if you are that craven Republican talker? Well, you continue to craven and, and talk. And um, here is Hugh Hewitt. Hewitt trying to come up with an explanation for how it is that the president of the United States who's going on and saying like I need it to do it for the money we get it. America needs this incidentally not only does America not need Saudi oil we buy I don't know what 10 percent of our oil from Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia could raise the prices of oil internationally uh, by by choking off a supply from OPEC. But there's a report out today that, you can see it, Insider, uh, Business Insider. Texas is about to create OPEC's worst nightmare. There's been so much drilling that's been going on in this country over the past, even under the Obama administration as well. There are new pipelines that are getting built all over Texas. And in Houston, the U.S. oil capital, shale executives are trying out different superlatives to describe what's coming. Tsunami, they call it. A flooding of biblical portions. An onslaught of supply are phrases that get tossed around. So in other words, Saudi Arabia couldn't be in a weaker position right now. If we are so worried about American oil, I mean, uh, Americans access to oil, then we should be nationalizing those pipelines and those oil refineries. But here's Hugh Hewitt to explain why Donald Trump is doing this. Hey, the CIA has concluded that MBS was behind this murder. This has been reporting, uh, this has been reported by our news outlet, NBC News, among an, a number of others, including the New York Times and the Washington Post. Why is Donald Trump brushing off an assessment by his own intelligence community? Well, I have to I have to be cautious here because the CIA sometimes is wrong as it was with its national intelligence estimate about Iran's weapons of mass destruction in 2007. Sometimes reporters, even great ones at my colleagues at the Washington Post and NBC, get fed information by the CIA, which is incomplete to advance a narrative by a particular constituency. Within Are you it. saying this is what a conspiracy to, to lie to the press and attack the president? Uh, there, there is often. Oh, my gosh. The agency often ask David Ignatius of the Washington Post. They often push out a narrative that they want. Are what you saying that all of the reporters were duped the by the CIA at, the, at, the, at NBC, not at the duped. Washington Post, I, I, not and duped. at the New York I'm Times, sure they were told and at all the other networks? Not duped. Uh, I, I would defer to Shane to, to, to talk but about how the, the agency CIA, works. But I mean, it's in but line, with, it's in line with other intelligence from the, the Turks and from others. But go on, go on. Uh, I, I, again, Katie, yeah. it's very possible that Khashoggi was ordered murdered by MBS. Very all right, so possible. pause it for one second. So here's the first argument. <clears throat> You can't believe the CIA. Okay, but what about the Turks? Well, you can't believe the Turks and the CIA. What about every other assessment that's come from any other expert on this? Well, okay, it's possible. I've done enough. I've laid that, um, that little patch of doubt. But wait a second. Let me move on to a different argument. I'm going to retreat to another argument, Katie, if I could. Ordered murdered by MBS. Very possible. What the president said today when he was going to the helicopter was to put into context that the Saudi Arabian relationship is very important. In the statement today, the very important second paragraph is about the real enemy in the Middle East, which is Iran, which is the greatest state exporter of terrorism in the world and has murdered hundreds of Americans in conflict in Iraq. Saudi Arabia matters to us because they're in alliance with the UAE, with Jordan, Egypt, Israel, and the United States. MBS is not Saudi Arabia. You've heard people like Lindsey Graham and others.
Just tell the president to be too invested in the crown prince, but he is being very strategic. So He's being very strategic in protecting MBS by also protecting Saudi Arabia because it's so uh, it's so key to our relationship. Here is Sean Hannity doing the B team version of the same argument. This is they're doing both the um, uh, fake intellectual and just the blowhard version of this exact same talking point. Here's how Sean Hannity delivers that talking point. That said, right. I believe MBS did know and probably ordered the killing of this Jamal Khashoggi. Here's the problem we have. Yeah. World War II, we had to align with a mass murderer by the name of Joseph Stalin to defeat Hitler. Right. We didn't like that alliance either. Right now, we have a historic moment where U.S., Israel, Egypt, Jordan, the Emirates, the Saudis are now mm -hmm. perfectly aligned against Iranian hegemony and the threats of them getting a nuclear weapon with their radical ideology of wanting to destroy the world and right. America and Israel. Right. Um, I think there should be, as you, I agree with you about sanctions, I agree there needs to be a punishment, mm -hmm. but I also agree with the president, yeah. we should not end this relationship. So, apparently alienating Saudi Arabia is the functional equivalent of allowing the Nazis to continue to create a huge empire that threatens all of Europe and, frankly, the entire world. Um, the other thing, I mean, what's fascinating about this is if this was the reverse, the Republicans were talking about how weak the U.S. government is now, that we cannot, at the very least, just force MBS out. That we are so weak that the Saudis are now pulling us around by our tail. This frame, I think, is, is silly, but it's certainly the one that the Republicans would use. And I, 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 there's, I, I mean, I think the, the, the problem with this is self-evident. I mean, if you basically say this... Uh, this coalition to fight uh, the Iranian threat is too big to fail, then what, what can you prevent them from doing? What, what, I mean, what, where does this end? It's just absurd. And it will have no implications on anything. Nobody, no, nobody, no Republican voter cares about this. They don't care. They don't all think that Iran equals Nazi Germany? Oh, no, they all do. That's why they won't care about the killing of this. Uh, oh, I see. What you're the Washington Post columnist. But I feel like even they don't really care. The actual voters don't care that much about Iran. No, I don't think they do. Not as much as um, th this is not. This is like the flip side, right? This is. The Iran demonization helps. Uh, Trump's position in this, if not vice versa. Usually they're doing stuff to demonize Iran. <clears throat> this, they have to expend some of the demonization uh, cachet to protect whatever it is Donald Trump is so hell-bent on protecting. It's, uh, I look forward to Hugh Hewitt uh, dedicating the rest of his career to CIA watching. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's super skeptical of them.